Hello. I am coming on because I've got a little stack of stickers and just words and some flowers, some images, and I want to see how many of these I can use up. And I pulled out this small stack of cards, so let's see what we can do. Alrighty, I do have this one that I, I did a video on this one. Let's see. Let's some of these little bits and pieces are hanging over, so I'm going to straighten that up. There, okay, now let's go through that section. Alrighty, righty There, that looks better. Ta-da! All right, so that would be adorable on there. All righty, that would be really cute. But I need something for it to back it with. So, hmm, I do have some, I've got an envelope of brown papers here. Those are not going to match with this, are they? Nope, let me put this in the brown. Let's see, blue. Blue or pink? So let's let's look at the blue. I've got plenty of blue in here. Got a whole folder of blue scraps. Let's see. And that silver would be perfect. Ooh, that would be so pretty. Wowza. That would match even better. I like the silver just because it's it's sparkly. <laughs> of course. Me and my pretties. I love all these stuff. All right, and I've got this little thing. Oh, yes, that's right. I've got this. I can put it here. It's an empty box. That would be pretty for the blue. That would really pull out both of those blues. Let's do that. All right, let me set this aside. Always saving things like this for these reasons. Yipper skipper. So, let's see how this fits. I don't know if this will come off or not, but we can try it. Ooh, yes it is. <gasps> Dude, nice. Alrighty, that did come off. Woohoo! I like that. That's awesome. Very good. Okay, now I need my goopy eraser to get all the rest of those goopies off. Very good. Perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and pull one of these off. That'll be so pretty. And maybe we can put that right on there. Why not? That's pretty. Alrighty, so let's cut this out. Alrighty, let's basically cut this out, or do I want to punch it? Uh, I'll just cut it out. These are such pretty little angel stickers. A friend of mine gave these to me. She gave me a whole bag of stickers and so I pulled out all the ones first that were open already. So that way I can finish using them. Alrighty, that's pretty. burnishing around the edges because that pushes the outer edge in so it looks like it's been die cut instead of just snipped with scissors. Now I'm just taking off the little 
sharp tips. Nice, all right. Very good, now that can go on there. Oh, that is so pretty on there. All right. Isn't that cute? She can definitely go right there. Let's see. There's a do-it-yourself. That's cute. Today is the day. Hello, sunshine. Oh, let's do that. Hello, sunshine. And I'm going to put it on this blue for the background because I can. That'll be cute. Is that one too little? Yep, that's too little. But I can put it on here. Why the heck you not? Let's glue this down. Make sure it stays. Alrighty. Put that about right there. There. Okay. Are you going to stay on there or what? <laughs> Doesn't seem to want to. But we're going to make it. Now definitely matches. Yes, it does. Perfect. All right, I like that. All right, let's put it on just like that. So let's do this first. There. And this one, I'm going to 3D that one up, that'll be pretty. And I have foam that I can use for this. There. Perfect. Do I want to put that? Yeah, why not? Move it down here. <laughs> It's cute. Hello, sunshine. Gotta love it. I like that. Alrighty, righty Now I just think it maybe some stitching going around the whole thing or black lines. Ooh, you know what? I forgot I took all my pens out of my drawer and I put them in a pen holder here on my desk. <laughs> I'm thinking, as a matter of fact. I could do my black marker. I think that'll be nice. Let's do it. These are dry erase markers that I like to use to do this with. They go on nice and smooth. Oh yeah. Just a nice, neat little trim. I can hear the church bells ding, ding, dinging. So uh, my husband and I went to visit my, our younger daughter and her family. And that was such a nice visit. And while we were there, we were talking about the reality of when he retires in just a couple years now. So we were discussing that and trying to make some, some type of plan instead of just saying it all the time. Let's do something about it. So and we've always said that we would like to move towards our timeshare area, which is in the Shenandoah Mountains. They're so beautiful. I think this will look better. Oh, yes. Okay, much better. So, and 
not realizing my younger daughter's house is in the Shenandoah Valley. Isn't that cool? So, we might start looking around there because that's very close to our timeshare. It's starting to feel real now because now we're actually talking about a little bit of details. And we've been in this, this house for, oh gosh, about 30 years. So, and this is the first time I've ever lived in a place this long. I've, before this house, I moved at least once a year, if not twice a year for my entire life. So this is gonna be really different. It's been really different living in the same house for 30 years. I, I kind of, I was so used to staying in one, or moving and packing up so quick and I can pack up a house pretty darn quick. But, well, I don't know about any more because of my age. But that's, this is pretty, I like that. But it is exciting to think about actually moving again because I kind of miss, Miss all that moving around. All right, this one, let's see. I've got this one and I've got this one. And I've got these three panels. And this one, it might be easier to use a panel. That one's got pinks and purples in. That one might be pretty there. I think I like that. Either there or, ooh, maybe on that one. I think I like that one the best. That's nice. All right, so let's do that. And I think I might do the same thing again. But this time I might use a punch and punch it out. Let's see if I can get it on covering up one of these words. Yes, I can. All righty, that'll work. Woohoo. Now, let me see if I can get a punch to punch that out. I'm thinking maybe this one might work. If not, then my, my other one will. So let's see if this will fit. That does fit in there. I'll have to trim a little bit of it off, but that's okay. And it's not getting those words, so that looks nice. But this will get the whole thing. So let's see what this will look like. Yes, that's even better. Okay. Alrighty, this will do it. Ta-da! Awesome sauce. All right, let me put this one away. That is cute. I do like that. All righty, and now I'm thinking maybe we can do a... We could cut out another one. Turn it over. It's easier to see where, where I'm putting it. There's a whole one, but I am wondering if I do just a portion of one like that. Then we could put that at the bottom and this one here. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's see. We can put this one up here or this way. We do it that way, that way, and this way. That's pretty. I like that. Huh. I like it. Or I can do it this way. One, two, three. Ooh, I think I like that way even better. Okay, that's nice. And I've got these little bitty flowers here. I could punch those out and put those on too. Now, what size? Let's see. Will my five feet be too big? Yep. This one's one half. That one might. 
and this one is three eighths. All right, let me look at this one. I think this one should fit. Oh yes, all right. Well, this one, I think this is gonna be too small. No, that actually just fits. All righty then. Well, heck, I'm gonna punch that out then. All righty, that is adorable. Then I can have all these little flowers going around on here. This one needs a bigger one. I love when they put little extra ones around like this that we can punch out also. Some people would just throw this away, but I'm looking at it going, look how many flowers I got out of there. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. And there, now that can be thrown away. This still has four more images on there, so let's get these. I like having all these little hole punches because all the different sizes, because that allows me to do things just like this, which I think is pretty darn cool. Now, this one I'm kind of wondering about because it's got two flowers. Um, all right, I'll just cut it right there. That'll work. All right, very good. So now I can put these away. And hmm, now I'm wondering. That's really cute. Wonder if I punch out some of these. What's the next size? The next one is the 5.8, I believe. Yep. So I would need four. Let's see what that would look like. One, two, three, and four. That landed right on my knee. That's good. All right, so the bigger one, that's pretty. I like that. Ah, check that out. Oh, that's funny. There's only one little pink one and the rest are all purple. That is funny, huh? All right, then if I do these ones, Okay, so let's do these. That's pretty. I could actually do two rows of flowers on either side. That would be fun. one and this one and three four more okay we've got this four mil will four more will do one two three four five okay drop them down here Alrighty. Alrighty, and then two more. There's, so we've got an extra one. 
that's cute. And look at how that looks. I like that. Oh, my hand's cramping. Ow, ow, ow. Yowie. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> I pulled out a couple containers of stuff, and he wants to play with it. He's investigating my cat. My cat, that is. All righty, so do I want to do this? Oops, he's going to come up here. Oh no, attacked by the cat. Hi, baby. Are you gonna be a, an attack cat today? Huh, or are you just gonna get stuck, stuff stuck on you? That's probably what you're gonna do. Alrighty, so one, two, three, four, five. That's cute, I like that. Okay, so you want me to hold you for a moment? Let me move this out of the way. Okay, now come here. Come on. Come here. Okay, there you go. There. And that's what you wanted, huh? I know. You just wanted a huggy. Mm -hmm. I love you too. But you know what? I'm doing a video, so I can't sit here and hold you forever, okay? Mwah. Okay, you gotta get down. Thank you. He loves to come up. And sit on my desk in my arms and have me just hold him and he likes to try to see if he can stop me from playing at my desk <laughs> and get the attention for himself all right i like this this is a neat idea so let's go ahead and start taking these off this will be a little bit of work but i think it'll be worth it dunk dunk i've got a delivery my a l e x i or or a rather e a you know who i'm talking about she did that dunk 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 you've got something come on separate you gonna make this hard for me. Oh, there it goes, all right, awesome. Alrighty, next. Oh, that's funny, that one came right off. These are adorable little flowers. Yes, they are. Alrighty, let's trim this to make it look neater than it did. Same with this one. So my husband was, he's so funny. He did his old man syndrome again the other day. And when I was off with my girlfriend shopping and doing our lunch, our weekly get together, then he went over to Costco or Aldi's? Costco this time. He went to Costco and got some prepared foods. So he got the gyros. Oh my gosh, they were so yummy. And he got the gyro family pack. That was enough for us to do a couple meals out of it, which was nice. Plus he had a lunch out of it. And then, oh, tonight he wants the uh, lobster raviolis. So I gotta make up a, a butter garlic sauce for those. That'll be yummy. And a side veggie. That will be delicious, I'm sure. Can't go wrong with lobster anything. These are really pretty. Trim that one out so do do 
do do. So we like we like watching seasons of things, of shows. Whatever's on Netflix or whatever else he put he puts on the TV. He's got a couple different programs or apps, whatever you want to call them. I usually just watch whatever he puts on because I don't even know how to do the TV anymore. It's that's got so crazy. Besides, I, I'm not really one to. I have a really hard time sitting down and being still and watching TV. And so, in order for me to really sit there, then I've got to have my hands busy. So I'm either doing some type of fussy cutting or going through magazines and salvaging pictures or. Um, Oh, I've got a, a little knitting going. I like to make homemade washcloths and dishcloths. So I've usually got one of those sitting because I can only do a couple rows at a time. And then I have to stop so I don't hurt my hands. I remember years ago when the girls were little and I would make them a sweater overnight. I'd put them to bed and I'd start on a sweater and and I'd have it all done by morning. And then they'd get to wear it. Come on, open, says me. There it goes. It was neat because at one point I was the accounts manager for an endocrinologist and She's Indian and from India. And uh, her mother would come and visit. And she would just take one of the, her grandson's shirts and use that as a pattern to make sweaters. And I thought, that's really cool. I used, I used to always just use a, pa uh, a regular knitting pattern but I thought, I, I do know all the stitches. I could probably do that. And I am a, I do know how to sew. And I used to sew all of, all of my clothes from the time I was 14 years old. I used to sew all of my clothes. And through my first marriage, I made a lot of my clothes and, and most of the girls' clothes, unless their, their auntie, their auntie Helen used to love to buy them clothes. But, uh, but this sweet lady, I was just in, just totally fascinated that she was making sweaters for her, her grandsons like she was. And she was telling me, just like sewing, just like sewing. She said, you cut a pattern, just like sewing. And I figured it out. And then I learned how to do that. That was so much fun to be able to just go, okay, how many inches across the bottom and That was a lot of fun to learn to do that. Yep, it was. Oops, I didn't, I don't think I stuck the bottom one on, but that's okay, we'll do that now. Yep, I did not, ha <laughs> ha. So, but thank goodness for that sweet lady. Oh, the talks that we, me and the doctor had, it was so funny, she had, um, she had her own business and her husband had his own business. She was an endocrinologist and he was a proctologist. And, uh, and she would, she was telling me about life, how life is so different here in the, in the state. She says, I like it better here. I like it better here. She said, but when we go home, I get in trouble because I, I'm not following the rules. She would, she totally enjoyed the, the freedom of living in, in the States. That is a cute little card. What do you think of that? Isn't that fun? I like that. All right, so now it just needs a little word or something on there, which I definitely have words. I do have words here, but that might be too big. I could do something here. Let's see, believe, love, dream, treasure, those are too big. Oh, but you know what? That's not going to match that at all, will it? All right. So, or any of these. 
There's summer. Happy summer. Super fun day. And then I've got summer, fun, happy. All right, I'm not liking any of those. So let's pull out a package of words. Let's see. Oh, here's some more words. And these ones are open ones. Okay, good. Forgot about these. I should be able to. Love lives here. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's open this up. Pull this out. Oh, yes, and I've got this one too. Oh, happy day. That would be cute. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Enjoy today. Aw. I think you're all happy day. I kind of like that all happy day or love ya. That's cute. Could do this word bubble. That'd be fun. Love ya. That's cute. Or thanks a bunch. Nope, I don't like that. It's your day. Have fun. Enjoy today. I like that. That won't fit very good. I don't know if I'd have to tip it like that. That would work. Joy today or love you. I think that one matches better. All right, let's do that one. Love you. That's really cute. All right, let's get a little blue on here. I'm always afraid these are going to fall off. That Oh, that's perfect. I'm always afraid they're, they're going to fall off, so I try to remember to glue them. Love ya. That's fun. I do like that. All right. So now on the inside, I can use these that I cut apart. I can put them here. So let's do that. Let me trim this because it's kind of hacked instead of cut nicely. So I think if we put this here, that'll be nice. Yep, or I could put two on there. I kind of like it like that, and actually I could do that. Let's do that. All right, I'm going to do this. Glue right there. Moved it out of my way. Perfect. Could do that one down there too. There or up here? Maybe down here. Okay, I'll do it down there. The big one on the bottom and the little one on the top. Ta da! Alrighty. Very nice. So that's a nice inside. Alrighty. Now let's see. Friendship, reminisce, to think, to talk, to write about, remember it, wish, deepest desires of a heart, longing, delight, intense happiness. Alrighty, I'm not seeing any of these ones that I like. Okay, so I have to figure out something else for the inside, but that's okay. Alright, so that's card number two. Alright, so one and two. Alrighty, let's do another one. What time am I at? 34 minutes. Okay, well, maybe I won't do another one. I'll, I'll break this up and I'll do another video. How's that? I don't want to force you to sit there that, that long. Okay, so here are the two cards. There's this one here with all those little bitty flowers and the inside to match. And here's the first one. That's so pretty. And the inside. What do you think of those? Aren't they nifty? So I hope you like this idea, and I hope it inspires you to pull out your unfinished items like these and uh, to put them together and go ahead and make something, whether it be a bookmarker, a tag, a, a card or two, or maybe even a page for your journal or your scrapbook. So, And please keep giving me those thumbs up. I do appreciate it, and they do help my videos to be pushed out there on YouTube more often. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.